Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at a new stack from SpeedyB. This is the SpeedyB F7 mini stack, 35 amp 4-in-1 ESC at the bottom, capable of supporting 3 to 6S, and it also has an F7 base flight controller at the top with a not modern USB connector too. Now I am a fan of the SpeedyB stuff. They originally started out making some very simple electronics and have actually moved on. One of the things that I really love here is the SpeedyB adapter, but all the SpeedyB flight controllers are designed to work wirelessly with the SpeedyB app on your phone, which makes tweaking and setup an absolute piece of cake. And this thing is no different. So this again is the SpeedyB F7 mini 35 amp stack. It is a wireless flight controller and also wireless tuning and setup and also interestingly there is full featured wireless BL Heli S ESC tuning as well as support for Blue Jay. I'll come on to what Blue Jay is in a moment. It's a real 35 amp BL Heli S D-Shot 600 capable 4-in-1 setup so this means that you can do everything from the SpeedyB app for setup if you really wanted to, which is a really nice idea. It means that you don't have to rely on lots of applications running on your Mac or PC to do the setup. Now, the real big news with this is that this also supports BlueJay firmware for the ESCs wirelessly as well. Now, BlueJay ESC is kind of an evolution of the standard BL Heli S stuff that we've all been using for a long time. Uh, for those of you that don't know what it is, I'll put a link down below so you can read up about it, but it's based on the BL Heli S revision 16.7 and it has lots of additional features and things. Now, I haven't used it a lot here, but the pilots who have, have reported some very good experiences with it, particularly around issues with quads that were getting a lot of desync issues where this stuff, uh, Blue Jay just seems to take care of it. So the nice thing is, is that this flight controller has that support built in and it also allows you to wirelessly flash the ESCs and configure them as well, including things like changing the direction. Being a modern flight controller, of course, it has support for the DJI digital video transmitter. So the pads are on the edge so that you can connect that up to your Cadix or Vista system. And in the box, there is both M2 and M3 mounting systems as well, depending on the quad that you have. 20 millimeter mounting holes, of course, with it being a mini stack. Overall dimensions, uh, the boards are 30 by 30 millimeters. The ESC 4-in-1 is a little bit wider. It's 32 by 35 millimeters. So really nice for a compact build and designed to go in square into the frame rather than at an angle. I know I'll get asked, uh, there are some really great pictures on the website for this that show that as well as having all the pads for the GGI FPV stuff, there is also all the pads for standard analog stuff too, if you want to run an analog VTX and a regular camera. In fact, the images for how you wire this up are again very good from SpeedyB and I need to give a big thumbs up because these kind of diagrams make it an awful lot easier for people to wire stuff up. I get so many questions from people who are confused and it's great to see people following the example that I think was set by the guys at Brain FPV for making some fantastic diagrams like this. So I thought it'd be interesting to just show you this. This has just come in. So again, this is the Speedy BF7 Mini uh, STM32 F722 based processor. Uh, just be aware, I think in iNav 4.0, I think F722 and F4 in 1, 1 based flight controllers have had a couple of things turned off. Uh, MPU 6000, uh, USB Type-C port, which seems to be what everyone seems to want these days. Black box on board of 8 meg three full UARTs, a telemetry UART, I squared C sadly isn't supported, so this won't work with external compasses, uh, but there is the LED um, buzzer pins and a boot button as well. Some of the technical specs for the SpeedyB 35 amp BL Heli 4-in-1 that's part of the stack. Uh, this is a 35 amp 4-in-1, uh, capable up to 45 amps maximum on a 5S setup, D shot 300 and 600 capable, uh, but the whole thing will support 3 to 6S. 
and again has a current sensor on board that will go up to the flight controller to give you an accurate readout, weighs about 7 grams. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that may have seen this listed. Uh, this is a nice modern flight control stack. The only thing you need to do is add frame, motors, receiver and the camera system of your choice for FPV and away you go. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.